everyone today we'll be discussing the range plug today so the range plug is one over here it's the one with the double arrow the one between the dice and the computer which is random block the dice is random block and we're gonna have we're gonna have this block right here so let's expand this we have a b um test value i'll be going over that and the yes and no okay so let's say I want my robot to venture out to the wide open when it's detecting light between 25 and 75. So let's say my light sensor is detecting a value of 50. Well, that's going to be between 25 and 75 as inputted here. So this is going to output a value of true because it is true. 50 is between 25 and 75. But if it's in complete darkness, and it's detecting a value of zero, it's gonna output a value of false. And we see that it's inputted into the test value, and that's the value that is gonna be tested. So we see right here is blotted out because that's the value being tested, right? Okay, and how about this? We can set we can set the values over here and we can actually manipulate our own upper and lower limit so lower limit so if the license is detecting a value of 10 this value over here this slider is going to have that value of 10 let's say the ultrasonic sensor is detecting a value of 100 then it's going to cover 100 over here and if i try to like overlap these realize that the lower limit is still going to be the lower limit and the upper limit is like it just it just transforms so upper limit upper limit okay now it's the lower limit okay so okay let me just zoom in right here okay this is the upper limit upper limit value is being manipulated when I turn back here now it's the lower limit and it goes back up I thought that was pretty cool and kind of like the math block you can get this out you can manually manipulate it so I don't know okay 25 and by the way, uh, let me clip these wires. Bam, bam. And these numbers, they are not limited to 0 and 100 necessarily. I believe they can go to like negative some gargantuan number. I'm going to have to look that up again. But it's some massive gargantuan number that you probably are not going to need. And just keep in mind that you can manipulate the upper and lower limits by sticking it into the data hubs um, you can insert the test value depending on um, what you want the test to be in this range and the yes and no value is whatever comes out the last thing I want to discuss with you is the outside range uh, what I mean by the outside range is okay let's set this to 25 let's set this to 75 Bam. All right. Okay. And then we're going to put our intensity into the test value again. So if the light sensor is 50, well, that's not in the outside range, right? It's, it is between 25 and 75, so it's going to be false. But if it is like 0 or 100 in pitch black darkness or um, 5 miles from the sun or something, well, then obviously it's going to put an output value of true because it is in the outside of the range of 25 and 75. That's just the last thing I want to show you about this range block here. And it can, it can be useful to the point where you have to have your robot in certain situations or certain conditions. Um, your robot can act under certain um, circumstances. It just makes your robot think in a more complex fashion. And the range block can provide that. Um, I do have a program that utilizes the compare block and I can tell you guys that about it later. I'm planning, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about doing a series of program dissections which I get big programs that I make or other people make, don't worry, I'll give them credits and then I'll go over it with you how each individual part works. I'm not going, I'm not necessarily going to go over the simple ones, the really, really complex ones, the one that makes your eyes just burn out because, I don't know, it's difficult sometimes. Alright, thank you guys for watching this tutorial about the compa about the range block. <laughs> and um feel free to leave comments, feedback, anything I've missed, anything I'm being good at, everything I'm anything I'm bad at, which is probably everything. 
Just feel free to leave a comment below. Feel free to subscribe if that's okay with you. And thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll see you guys next time.